Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, the Brooke Ashley. And today I just thought I would hop on here because this has been on my heart for quite some time. I really love that you guys are loving my self-help series and I really enjoy it too because as much as you guys get something out of it, I also get something out of it hearing your stories, knowing that we're all in this together and that a lot of us can relate because a lot of us are going through similar things. But I just wanted to share this. Stop allowing people to place their limitations on you. I think too many times, and I've noticed this throughout my life growing up, but a lot of people unfortunately are negative, they're insecure, they have very limited mindsets. And when I say limited mindsets, people who are just afraid to dream and go after their goals. People who think very small, that's what I mean. And I really hate if I'm out and it's a group of people and the conversation turns into, oh, well, you know, we can't do that. Or, you know, you know, that's too much or whatever. And I'm always like, well, speak for yourself because that's not my reality. And I see too many people allowing others to put them in a box or speak negatively over their situation or limit them. And I do not like that at all. I feel nobody has the right to tell you what you can achieve or what you can accomplish. And even when I think about my YouTube channel, it'll be five years in September. And when I first started out, I started out with 146 subscribers and I remember just talking into the camera and I would say, okay, like, hey, how are you? And my old videos were not as polished, like the lighting was bad. I had this HP computer that I would use. I didn't really know how to edit. And listen, just a far cry from where we are today. But I say all that to say, when I first started out, Although I would hear snide remarks from people who were supposed to be friends about my little YouTube channel, in my head, I always knew that I would be where I am today. There were bets being placed about how soon would it be when I stopped or when I quit because my channel was supposed to flop. There were people placing bets on how I wouldn't even see 500 subscribers. And now here we are at over 28,000 subscribers and those same people are quiet. And oh, by the way, for those of y'all who are placing bets, since y'all lost the bet, feel free to cash at me, Zell, the money since y'all are placing bets. I know I won, so yeah. Bling, bling, bling. Bitches is mad. <laughs> but I say all that to say, imagine if I listened to people and internalized that. I just had to keep going. I just had to know that the dream was placed in my heart for a reason. It's not in vain. Never internalize somebody else's doubts and insecurities just because they're too afraid to go after something, just because they believe that it can't be done. It doesn't mean that that's true for you. And that's always been my mindset that just because you believe that it can't happen for you, that's not me. I've never felt like I can't do something or have something or be somewhere. I really hate when people say things like, oh my gosh, we could never afford and i'm like speak for yourself and it's no shade but i don't believe that it's like all of a sudden you speak french now everything is we and people love to do that because unfortunately misery loves company so people want to project their limitations but they also want to include you in it no if you think that you can't achieve that or you can't afford that ever in your life you say that for you but don't put that on me because i'm going to reject that every single time and I'm not somebody who's going to just sit there and smile and nod and let you say it. I'm going to correct you. For me, there's no limit. And I wish that more people could be like that. I think that there would be less competition. There would be less jealousy. Because I also feel like a lack mindset is what creates jealousy and envy. Because you feel like you can't do something. You're jealous of somebody 
who sees that the sky is the limit and that they can achieve whatever they want. Look y'all, I didn't write any notes. This is straight off the cuff. It's just been in my heart for a while. And I felt it so strongly after I did my Jersey review. So I said, oh, okay, no, I have to get this out here. I've always been this way since I was little because I had parents who really poured into me. They've always poured into me, but when I was little, they told me that there was nothing that I could not do. If I wanted to do it, they let me know that if I worked hard, if I was consistent, if I had the passion for it, that it could happen. So I definitely give my parents credit for why I had so much confidence growing up because my parents made me feel beautiful. They made me feel like I could do anything. And that really did carry into my adulthood. And my hope for y'all is that you will not allow anybody to project their misery or their doubt or their jealousy onto you. And that's another reason why I'm such a big believer in moving in silence because people see your power. They see the gift in you. And a lot of times they're projecting on you because they want to destroy you. They want to make sure that you never get the courage or the confidence to go after what you want. If you want to write a book, if you want to go back to school, whatever it is that you want to do, just know that you can do it. And it doesn't matter if it takes a long time. It doesn't matter if it's challenging at first, anything that's worthwhile in life, it's going to be hard. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be difficult. And then after you become consistent, that's when things get a bit easier. And I wouldn't even say easier. It's just that you're now used to the pressure, but I just came on here to say, never allow anyone to rob you of the gift that you have inside. Everybody's path is different. So you can't compare your life to somebody else's. And even if you were to do the same thing as somebody else, it's still not going to be the same path. You're not going to have the same challenges. You're going to have a different set of circumstances. And also don't let anybody belittle what you're doing. Never allow anybody to say, oh, what's that little project that you're working on or that little business or that little channel? Listen, you need to start correcting people. Start walking in your power. Too many people are insecure and they get away with infecting others because they don't feel good about themselves. So because they see that you're going places and you want to improve your life and you're really going for what you want in this life, they're upset about it, they're triggered, they're jealous, they're envious, and now they wanna sit up here and throw some shade and get you off a of track. But tune out the noise and just know that in due time, things are going to work out and align. But yeah, never allow anybody to put their limitations on you. Don't let anybody speak negatively about your situation. I don't care in any area of life. Anybody that is not trying to uplift you, encourage you, help you become a better person. They don't need to be around you because again, you end up like the people that you're around all the time. If you're around people who they're always talking about what they can't do, what they don't want to do, what's too hard, you're going to be in the same spot that you are now. But please know that whatever dream has been placed in your heart, you can do it. The dream is not there for no reason. The dream signals that it's something that you should at least try, but don't not try because you have people who are doubting you and they're projecting their limiting beliefs onto you. And now you've internalized that. And now you don't want to try. You only have one life. Tomorrow is not promised. And seeing my dad pass away, at a relatively young age is really drilled into me that we really don't have time to waste. Like when I say in my recaps, we don't have a minute to spare. That's true. We really don't have any time to BS around because when you think about it, 2024 is almost over. We're at the halfway mark. August will be here in like what, two weeks before you know it, it's going to be Halloween, then Thanksgiving, then Christmas, then it's going to be happy new year and it's 2025. So you don't have time to doubt yourself. You don't have time to internalize other people's doubts about you. You need to start. 
I feel like this message just took a completely different turn. I didn't even plan to say that. Again, y'all, this is from the top of my head, but my message to you today is do not allow other people to project their doubts and their jealousy and their insecurities and whatever nonsense they have going on on you. I'm rooting for you. I love y'all. I'm glad that you guys are loving my self-help series and y'all already know what to do. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all later. Bye.